It is so nice being the only one out of the barn right now because it means that I can film freely without anyone judging me for talking to an inanimate object. I hope this happens to absolutely everyone else because it sucks when it happens to me. Whenever anyone drives into the barn driveway, it's always when I'm having my worst moments of my ride. Where like all of a sudden we've just come above the bit or something like that is happening. And I just want to tell everyone and be like, no, I promise I know how to ride. I'm not this terrible. Let's come back at the end of our ride for the last five minutes. She looks gorgeous. But like it gets exceptionally ugly when people drive into the barn driveway or drive out of the barn driveway and they just see how horrible we look. And I'm like, mm, they're judging. They're in their little car judging me away. Also might be just a me thing. I don't actually know. Thoroughbreds do not need legs. She can't handle having legs. She can't handle having two legs, let alone four legs. I don't know why they're allowed to have legs. Oh, look at that nice, beautiful knee we see, right, right? And then we just come over here and look at that bulge. Oh my God, I don't even know what she did. Oh, look at that. Oh, uh, it's not hot or anything. It's like she got kept knee, I don't even. This is why thoroughbreds should not have legs. That, look at it jiggle. Don't you just love that? Ugh. Let's do a soundness check, shall we? Shot on. Oh God, filming and everything. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, you suck. In case you're wondering, you suck. Doesn't look super lame to me, to be honest. Kenta. That looks really fun to ride today. in the sky gazing far into the night i raise my hand to the fire but it's no use because you can't stop it from shining through it's true baby let the light shine through if you believe it's true baby won't you let the light When I first got on her with the bit, uh, she was hanging on it and she didn't really understand the mole in mouth factor because I don't think I've ever ridden her in a mole in mouth ever. So I think she was hanging on the bit and then I started pulling a lot more with it because I think she wasn't, it was that she wasn't as reactive, which in hindsight, the whole like not being as reactive is probably a good thing because it means I'm, my aids aren't as sharp to her as that she's such a sensitive horse. It was probably a bonus that she wasn't getting all my mixed signals and all the other things that I accidentally tell her to do. She was super up in her shoulders and up through her neck. I actually haven't watched any of the footage, so I could be completely lying about that. Ooh, turning, don't want these people to see them recording. She was up in her neck. She was using the muscles right in front of her withers, which she normally doesn't do, so she looks kind of eunuched and like a tard. I mean, who doesn't look like a tard, honestly? I felt that I had her softer and she wasn't falling out in her shoulders as much as before which might have been the mole in mouth factor was that I was riding her more evenly distributed throughout her mouth instead of, you know, kind of being too heavy on one side and all that. And I did start off in the beginning of the ride riding really tense through my biceps and my shoulders. I was, I was really heavy in my hands actually, like way more than I normally am. But by the end of the ride, I had softened and she has. Canna was a little rough, but it wasn't anything to do with the bit. It was more or less that I just wasn't riding her forward enough and into the contact. I think what we all can take away from today is thoroughbreds do not need legs. They are not nearly responsible enough to handle four legs. I want my subscriber number to remain at that beautiful integer. Dry ground. Yeah. Safety. Take video of your knee, okay? Don't do anything stupid yet. Don't move. Swelling has actually gone down. It's less jiggly than it was yesterday, which is super nice. I'm really glad. It's like... It's actually significantly gone down. I'm actually really excited because tomorrow she's getting a chiropractic appointment, which hopefully that can solve some of our back soreness issues. And then Sunday we have a saddle fitting appointment. She doesn't move like she's out in her back, but I have a funny feeling she is. Or at least she could just use some love and care and attention. You know, what's the worst that could happen? I find out nothing was wrong and that she didn't really need a chiropractic appointment? Fine, at least I tried, you know? At least I did something. Even though it costs many, many monies, I think it's worth it for her ultimate comfort and happy pony. Because you know what they say, 
Happy Ponies, empty bank account. How do some people get off riding and they look totally fine, totally normal, when I get off and I look like a freaking drowned rat that was drugged behind a semi truck for 20 miles through the sewer? I hope everyone else feels my pain and is just as sweaty and nasty when they get off.